So good morning, Train Effective fam. London, Tuesday morning, and uh, we're just doing the regular stuff. Wednesday it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday morning. Let me just get straight into it. Last week was a difficult week because we were in um, not crisis, but we had a, a lot of problems. We had a lot of problems that were affecting the kind of motivation and focus in the house because we didn't have a pitch. Um, the lack of direction on vlogs was unclear. This, this effective FC thing is, is all unclear, and um, and it was hard because because even though all of us were motivated to to turn it around, we just didn't really know how. So like our vlogs set the pace for everything that we do here. You know, when we have a good vlog, um, when a lot of people like a vlog, we have a good day in the house because we know that. The vlog is a pillar of everything that we do. Post day 100, um, it's been difficult to, to top those first 100 days. Um, and there are a few reasons why. And I kind of made a little rant on my Instagram story the other day. Check this out. Hey guys, what's up? I've just been um, sitting here the last few hours, pondering on a few things. And I would love your thoughts on kind of my struggle right now. Uh, hear me out. I, I know a lot of you followed the, the Train Effective Instagram and YouTube because you saw the 100 day challenge and you just saw me chasing my dream and, and I think a lot of you saw it as like this relatable experience of, of this guy going for his dream. And if you're following that 100 days, I think that was really exciting for many of you. But then things change where other people came in the house, uh, we got the house in the first place, all these other characters came into play and it became less about me. And I want to know when that change happened, uh, that's why I really want your feedback. Did your interest in Train Effective increase or decrease? That's what I want to know. So in order for me to create the best content, that's why I want to ask you guys, why did you subscribe to Train Effective in the first place? What interested you? How do you think the, the videos helped you? Please DM me. I just, I want to know, you know? The other thing is like, I love the struggle. I love people going after their dreams, whether it's in music or business or in football or in tennis, it doesn't matter. I love, I love people that have a dream. Like it, it's infectious to me knowing the reasons why someone like yourself watching would be willing to risk everything, would be willing to be that one that gets outside of their comfort zone, that, that doesn't conform to the expectations of their friends. So it's got me thinking like, what if I made a personal channel to have real conversations um, about people's struggles, about people's journeys, and not just about football, but like in any discipline, just connecting people like my Content would be based around motivation, staying inspired, just having these real conversations. Would that be content that you would watch? Something you're interested in? I really wanna know, cause I'm really pondering if this should be created or not. So this has just been my spot on a Tuesday, just thinking about what to do next. But I'd love to hear you guys' feedback, your thoughts, your comments. Um, your, man, I get a lot of my ideas from everything that you guys say. So just DM me, I'll read or reply. It's just this distinction between Nick Humphreys and Train Effective. And these things are, are clouding my mind and a lot of other people's minds. I just want to get that straight. So let's do it. So I was really stuck and I asked you guys for your feedback and your advice. And some of the feedback that I got um, was like people subscribed in the first place because they wanted to see uh, my journey. Just quote a few things here. See your journey and learn things that I could use in my life too. Another guy said, I'd like to see other people going through the same struggle. I saw a guy chasing his dream and I thought, here's me saying, I'm gonna do it. Well, here's this guy actually doing it. I think what happened is that the main topic completely shifted into this team. Uh, I used to be just trying to make it as a professional and now it's about a team, it's about a club and um, I think what's happened is a lot of you have lost that relationship with me. It's, it's lost a bit of its relatability. So, so what I found out from asking these questions on Instagram were like, some of you watch because you wanted to see the football training part, seeing the tips and the drills and the tutorials and stuff like that, um, so you could get ideas for your training. 
another segment of you um, wanted to see the journey aspect of it someone chasing their dream and you wanted to see the struggles they go through so you could kind of learn about about what that process is and the third segment of you just wanted to watch it purely because it was entertaining and exciting something new and fresh was happening every day combining all these three aspects in one it's it's a challenge and we're trying to really figure it out. So that's why I'd love to know from you guys, what would you like to see more of in the vlogs? What do you watch these vlogs for? Or what did you watch these vlogs for? Do you watch it because you wanted to learn more about football and the training aspect of it, the journey, or you just simply watch it because you're, ex you're excited and you wanted to see this thing grow? Which one of these three uh, audiences were you? Let me know, let us know in the comments below. So yeah guys, just sharing the ups and the downs with you. Uh, last week was a down, but we got a phone call actually about a certain facility. <sighs> I hope this is the one. A big shout out to Dave, who's been trying to organize and arrange that for us. I posted this um, day 148 video, I think it was, when I was talking about the whole pitch situation. I think we got something on its way. I hope, fingers crossed on its way, which is gonna set the standard for all we do with trainings and matches and everything, I'm just fingers crossing that, that that's gonna happen. Once we get that, these vlogs are gonna go a whole nother level, trust me. So in the meantime though, uh, leave your comments below about suggestions, what we should do with videos and how we can how we can kind of keep you guys happy with, with content and stuff like that. Um, otherwise, stay effective. Yo, so Effective Fam, if any of you were wondering how you can train like a professional because you don't have good coaches or teams around you, then I made something for you. Look, check this out. You just drop your workouts in your schedule, work out with whatever you got, and earn points and badges. All the content is made by the legend himself, John Moses, and even Premier League coaches will educate you. Awesome, right? Thousands of players from over 45 different countries have used it to get to the next level. And guys, if you've ever dreamt of living with us in London, England, here's your chance. If you're between the ages of 15 and 25, we've got spots open for our in-residence program for 2017 and 18. Check the link below. And if you want to see more content from me, here's my channel, Nick Humphreys. Subscribe, hit it, hit it, hit it. And of course, subscribe to the Train Effective channel. We've got new content daily. Peace.